Hey traders, today in today's today in today's video, <laughs> what I want to talk to you about is obviously don't place a trade based on this video. This is just education only, and I mean that, guys. Right? There's so much areas that actually goes into a successful trader. And if you really want to know the foundations, the chart reading strategies, the trading systems, and the mindset strategies that you must know, I'm giving away free access. Very first thing in the description, I'm giving away free access for a short time frame to, to my whole membership to, to help you with all these areas that actually helps you, that's going to get your head, okay? So just get in there and try it all out, okay? You can, I'm, giving free, I'm giving away free access to, to the membership for you to try out for free. If you're not lucky, you don't have to stay. Anyway. What I want to talk to you guys about today is I want to talk about the banks. The banks are looking really, really, really weak right now. And I know you guys like silver and gold, but guess what? Nothing's changed from the silver market update that I did yesterday. So today it's all about the banks. So I want to share with you today, I'm going to say the banks are looking quite weak when it comes to the charts. So let's start with JP Morgan. Uh, JP Morgan here. All right, so what, what do we see here on, on, on JP Morgan? Firstly, we're getting a bit of a round top. So let's bring up, say, last say six months oh let's go last one year and what's happening right now we're starting to get a bit of a round top aren't we you can see that we're starting to create this lower high lower high lower high lower high low lower low and now it looks like it's trying to break below these lows through here as well too so the banks are actually looking quite weak there's obviously bank of america let's go have a look at our goldman sachs now, Goldman Sachs is obviously the one that's very, very, very weak. And obviously, there's a lot of stuff on here. So let me just delete all the things here. But one thing I wanted to share with you is obviously Goldman Sachs right now is looking really weak. And the reason why I mention this is because these are some of the biggest, biggest stocks in the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is very, it looks like it's struggling right now. But what's happening underneath the surface of the Dow Jones? What are, what's happening with some of the biggest stocks out there? So the so Goldman Sachs right now, right? Running down low. And look at this, and this is where, and this is where reading the chart is so important, right? Because this is where the, look at this here, higher low, higher high. Look at this here, lower low, lower high, breaking down. See, this is where the trend changed, right? And the market started to break down. Then we create another lower low and another lower high, and now we're breaking down. It looks like we're now going to probably break down and try to head back down from there to there. Makes sense. So that's basically where we're at right now when it comes to when it comes to Goldman Sachs. But lower high, lower high, they're starting to roll over, and it's really and it's not looking and it's not looking good. We've got Bank of America as well too, is the last on the list that I want to share with you. But as you can see, right, we're starting to roll over, and especially Bank of America. What's happening, Bank of America? High, low, lower low. Then we had a double top. And now we went from here, right? And now we're holding this level. Look at this bit of a, like a, like a bit of a bear flag formation. Look at this here. Let me squeeze it up here. So we have this high. And as you can see, right, this, see when this, this is when, this is when the trend, this is when things started changing. Lower low, lower high, double top, lower low. And now what's happening right now, we're just going down. As you can see right now, we're going down. And now we're just going sideways for a few days. If we start to get a nice drop down below here, guys, then we're probably going to run back down towards this 26 level there on, on Goldman Sachs. There's probably a little bit of support level through that 27 mark. But ultimately, I would say we're, we're heading, we're probably heading down to that $26 six mark. And, and especially if we get a big strong down bar, a big strong down bar breaking below that, and then heading down towards the 26. So there's some of the there's some of the banks guys that I wanted to share with you when it comes to you know when it when it comes to trading. Let me let me actually bring up see if there's any uh, see if there's anything else that I, I missed here for for you guys. But Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, um, uh, yeah yeah. So I just uh, obviously obviously J J uh, Bank of uh, Bank of America is not part part not Bank of America is not part of uh, part of the Dow Jones, but as you can see, the ones that are like Goldman Sachs, especially Goldman Sachs, right? Goldman Sachs is definitely, definitely looking very, very, very weak. It's starting to roll over. So there's a lot of stocks within the Dow Jones that are starting to really head down, and the Dow Jones itself is actually struggling. So there's a lot of weakness underneath the hood of the Dow Jones. So there's a little lesson today for you guys. Obviously, hope hope you guys enjoyed the lesson when it comes to when it comes to reading the charts, but also looking at the stock market right now. And that's why I always say, read the chart. The chart is telling you who's in control and then always trade with who's in control. Always, no matter what chart, what market or what time frame you are trading.